Man, as an American, I can't wait to vote for Trump. You idiot. Look, man, any educated, intelligent person is gonna vote for Kamala Harris under the Democratic Party's leadership. Do you realize there was no vote for Kamala Harris? Like the DNC just appointed Kamala Harris to run after Joe Biden did horrible in the debate. So where's the democracy there? Joe Biden stepped down because he was an honorable man. He did the right thing, the honorable thing. It's almost like whatever the shadow government says is gonna happen. So that's not democratic at all. No, no, Joe Biden stepped down because he was an honorable man. What the fuck does that even mean? Like you're just parroting the legacy media. I'm not parroting nobody, all right? How can you vote for Trump? Like, look, he's such a fascist. He's a Hitler, bro. You need to have zero brain cells if you're voting for Trump. You have to be a literal moron to vote for a Hitler like that. I don't know, man. Is it possible that you might be the moron? Wow, maggots are so defensive. The second I use my logic and reasoning, it suddenly you start with name calling. Can't wait for Kamala Harris to win so that all you morons can stop idolizing Trump. But what happens if Trump wins then? Then what do you do? No way on earth Trump is gonna win, bro. I've read the, the polls. I've seen all the polls. Yeah, except the betting markets are saying otherwise. And people actually do their research and put their money in it. So why are the betting markets favoring Trump? Look, man, I've studied and researched like an educated person. Have you heard of Nate Silver? He's a pollster and he knows everything. I think society as a whole actually lacks critical thinking. And we rely on legacy media and these big institutes to tell us what to believe and who to vote for. And I think uh, what's happening right now in America is that there's gonna be a rude awakening for at least one group of people. Look at you trying to sound smart, when in reality you just have two brain cells, like a maggot. Ugh, such a moron. So anyone that votes for Trump is a moron. That's what you're saying. If you vote for Trump, you're basically saying that your IQ is so low that you shouldn't even actually be allowed to vote. So then why is Elon Musk supporting Trump? Ugh, don't even get me started on Elon Musk using his dad's money to buy Twitter. He's just a spoiled kid, that's all. Look, this guy's gonna be in the history books whether you like it or not. Elon Musk is single-handedly responsible for making sure rockets land on their fucking feet. Before that, it was an impossibility that a rocket could possibly land and be reused again and again. Like he made that possible and that's just one of his companies. Elon Musk didn't do any of that, his employees did. It's a big difference. So unless he built a rocket with his own two hands, you're saying he doesn't deserve any credit? Exactly, you gotta build it and you fly it and then maybe you get credit. But you can't do it on your daddy's money. It's almost like you don't recognize how reality works. I'm very grounded in reality. You're the moron that just listens to Fox News and just says whatever the hell Fox News says. Look, the lack of critical thinking is actually mind blowing to me. If DNC nominated, not even democratically voted, but if they appointed a potato, you would vote for a potato for Trump. That's what you're telling me. Well, there's a lot of nutritional value in a potato. You know, it's a strong vegetable. I can definitely see myself voting for a potato. If I keep talking to you, I'm gonna get a brain aneurysm. So just to keep the peace between our friendship, I'm gonna peace out, but Jesus, man. Of course this moron is gonna leave when I've outsmarted him in every corner. Regardless of what this idiot votes for, the deep state will prevail. I mean, the Democratic Party will prevail. Yes, the Democratic Party.